The topic is centered condensation. I'm not talking about vertical or lateral condensation, centered condensation. Okay. And this is a warm gutta percha technique. It is um, extremely, very 3D. Research is showing it puts more gutta percha in the lateral canals and isthmuses along with the sealer than, uh, than any other technique. And it's uh, very efficient, very rapid. Um, doing the shoulder technique, which was wonderful for its time, uh, would sometimes take 45 minutes in a four canal molar to down pack and backfill. Um, we're doing a down pack with different kinds of center condensation in something like two and a half seconds, six seconds, eight seconds um, to fill all the lateral canals. So let's, uh, let's look at uh, what kinds of center condensation will you be surprised they're both warm gutta purchase techniques but uh, they're thought of as really different by endodontists and even general dentists and that would be the continuous wave of obturation that's a technique that I designed uh, quite a few years ago uh, we use a, a touch and heat or a system B Uh, this is an electric heat source and uh, we have variably tapered pluggers. Okay. All right. The second technique, and we'll get back into this, is carrier based. talking about thermophil, GT obturators, uh, GTX obturators, they're uh, soft core, um, real seal one, these are all carrier based. Okay, and so this is uh, <laughs> cutter percha or filling material on a stick. <laughs> okay, and what do we mean? It's a carrier is made of plastic or metal or now gutta percha and gutta percha hardened gutta percha. Gutta percha is placed on there and it's heated in an oven and placed in the root canal and we get a three-dimensional approach. Strangely enough, in exactly the same way that this occurs. Now how could we fill these little root canal complexities more effectively with a technique that only takes you know two to eight seconds instead of uh, a lot more time. Uh, it's, it's, uh, the best analogy was explained to me by a general dentist taking my course and he said, you know, uh, Steve, it's uh, kind of the inverse of our impression tray technology. And I thought about it, he was absolutely right. So impression tray, three part impressions, we have the tray, we have the heavy bodied, material and we have the light bodied material. The tray pushes the heavy body material against the teeth. The tray is not supposed to fit the teeth. It's supposed to be larger than the area we want to take an impression of. That pushes the heavy body material. The heavy body material pushes the light body material but also is lubricated by the light body material so that it slips and slides and moves more effectively. Um, and that's why you can do an impression. Nobody's got a better impression from a three-part system by doing it really slowly. Um, you know, it's like two to five seconds uh, to place that. And that's why it takes so little time. So how or what are the differences? If we have a root canal and uh, we put uh, a carrier or a plugger, not a whole lot different. A plugger will fit shorter, continuous wave plugger, and this is an electric heat plugger. It's going to be 0.5 millimeters at its tip, 
and taper as we choose. That would be 04, 06, 08, 10, and even 12 millimeters per millimeter taper. So it'll that will drive through the gutta percha cone that's been fit to about here, and that'll be the end of our down pack. With a carrier, carrier based, we're going to take it right here to within about a millimeter of the terminus. Uh, the gutta perch is on the carrier already. It's not fit in the terminus of the canal. This is a cone fit technique. Okay, this is not. Um, this is a very fast way to do three dimensional obturation, but it's highly technique sensitive. If you want, if you want ideal results, the same results that you get with a cone fit technique. Uh, but basically what's going on here is whether it's a plugger or a carrier that we'll say that one is going way all the way up here. As we drive through the softened gutta percha, in the case of a carrier, it's been pre-softened by putting the carrier and the gutta percha on it in the oven, uh, then place, putting it in, the canal's already coated with sealer. In the case of the continuous wave electric heat plugger, we fit a cone half millimeter short and we pre-fit the plugger and we hit the heat button and we drive through it. As we put the carrier to place, we drive to our pre-fit length, we are causing coronal displacement of filling material, okay? Only one object can occupy a body of space at the same time. So as we drive through with the carrier or the plugger, we have the filling material streaming and actually it will exit. You'll see it exit the orifice. And certainly if there's a lateral canal on the side or apically, uh, doesn't matter. Um, it's going to continuously stream into that lateral canal. If you have two canals here and there's an isthmus between them, it'll be moving into those areas very simply. So um, thinking about this in terms of impression tray technology, the way that works is informative, A, because it's a very uh, accurate hydrodynamic model, if you will, also because it informs of us about how to do the technique. We look at the carrier and we look, the, look at the uh, plugger, the electric heat plugger, and they both have to fit in the preparation that we've made, um, but they're not supposed to fit tightly. It's not like fitting a cone. A carrier is going to fit loosely throughout its length. The plugger cannot, we do not want to bind it in the canal. That's why we pre-fit it. But, um, so don't try and get the carrier or the plugger to be too close to the canal walls. It also tells us that the, uh, the sealer application is going to be critical. For a cone fit technique, we're going to put sealer on the cone up to the canal, terminus, move it back and forth a couple times, check and make sure it hasn't been worn off. With carriers, we're going to coat it beforehand <coughs> before we put the sealer in. But the sealer is critical. Uh, without the sealer, we don't get the lubricity of the gutta percha and it will not move into lateral accessory canals the way we intend. Uh, when it's done correctly, uh, it's a fast, effective, and a very three-dimensional way to fill root canals.